about that is it's entirely self-supporting. The electricity fires have made relevant. The water goes to the irrigation district for zero, and some people tell me we should charge. Well, think about what we're talking about. The irrigation districts put in for nothing. They have to charge a little bit to the farmers who have to have paper distribution, et cetera, you know. But that's really a pit. And, and uh, what it's used for is to grow food. Now, some water does go to cities, and we had a little bit of a, I don't know what to call it, a few years ago, San Diego wanted more water. And I'll be honest about it, my own belief, we don't like to give too much farming water to cities, okay? The reason being because where this thing is for growing food. That's why they, this is the Bureau of Reclamation, growing food, you know? And a million acres of the United States get dirty from the project, and a half of it in Mexico. People sometimes don't understand that Mexico's entitled to water. Yes, they are. They've been longer for a long time, and they're entitled to it. So, but a million acres and a half million, and the food we grow, and this is a year-round thing, because of the climate and the water, you know, and the soil. It's extraordinary, and it's used all over the world. That's not mixed exaggeration. Food is used all over the world. So that's the part about uh, you know, why we were here. And no tax money ever went into it. I mean, I just think this is a really wonderful project, okay? It really is. Uh, any question? Did I answer the other question? Okay, ma'am, who asked me that question? About uh, why you had to pay 30 bucks or something? Is it good enough? That yeah, don't, don't I just want to know yeah, It's the building. Again, Congress decided, you know, after I came to work here, because it had been authorized by Congress to build these buildings. But then I guess maybe somebody, maybe out of where, said, well, why should we have this extraordinary expense on the backs of the taxpayers, so they said, let's put it on somebody else. So, you got it. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. That's why you have the 30 buck charge. Okay? Hope you're happy with that, because I can't change it. No. Okay. I want to thank you coming with me today, folks. I have to make a little phone call, and if you want to have a question, well, it's going to can make my phone, because then we'll go outside, okay? Since you might enjoy it. It's 110 out there, at least. Might be 110 in here with all of our body heat. It ain't that hot. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. This is Bob. What? I hate people about that. I'm sorry. Yeah, they, they're making a joke about the temperature. Thank you. You have to fair warn them or come in? Okay, hold on a second. You heard the laugh. What's all that laughter about? Well, somebody made a joke about the weather. And it's what we have to do is I have to account for every one of you. If I don't, that's why I was so worried early. We only had 19. Where was that? Who was yeah. This guy. Oh, yeah. Well, we found him, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to be out loose in this place. Where is this person? Same deal. They want to make sure that everybody comes out, right? You're all with me, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Anyway, I want to thank you with me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. To me, it's definitely a pleasure to be here. I just enjoy doing this stuff. It's an extraordinary place. I mean that honestly. What was accomplished here was just amazing. They changed the U.S. They changed the world. Yep. We're talking about all these people. Thanks for coming. Let's come out. Ah. A little bit hot. Take big enough water, okay? Definitely. And these are the water intake valves. This is, this is what the dam looks like. Colorado River. See that ventilation? I don't think you can see it in this video, but we were about right there. And there was a power plant we were in. This is the roadway on the dam. There was Lake Mead.
write it.